Hey y'all, how's it going? Let me know in the comments below. So I'm really excited to share that it is done. We've done three coats. The top isn't on yet. Um, <clears throat> so I'll, I'll add that later. But yeah, look how it came out. Those of you that have been following the lending library, you'll know that um, it's been a lot of work, but totally worth it. So much fun for me. I learned a ton. I, uh, yeah, I had a blast doing this. So you can, you can see in there, the color really just pops with this finish. So I couldn't be happier with that. I've got a sliding dado, shiplap, little notch for the door, double insulation, soft silicone, and hard rubber gasket. Um, magnets to hold it. Boom. Not going anywhere. Those are really strong. Dovetail casework course and um, as a little extra I wanted to show you all the tools that I use to make this thing so <laughs> when they say oh you only need four tools to get into woodworking it's a lie absolute lie let me go left to right and tell you oh first of all let me tell you where the tools are from so it was really a concerted effort um, to buy tools which were made in places that have good wages for the workers. Okay, now a lot of them are old, so the wages were less, but still, they were highly skilled workers and probably made a decent living. Number eight for joint, jointing. Stare it. Um, yeah, uh, just a square, Craftsman Square. New concepts, made in California. Um... Lee Nelson, these three, four, five things. <laughs> um, yeah, Stanley. Actually, let me just tell you what I used each one for. Stanley number eight was jointing. This is for um, a center punch for the hole. All for scratching lines and digging holes out. Use this for dovetails, and it's a it's my square is square, so I use that for all kinds of stuff. Use this for striking line, the the big combo square for striking lines on boards for rough cuts. Um, the new concept fret saw is for dovetails, sharpening. It's the only blade that works for my uh, chip breaker. Um, this Bridge City tool works square for smaller stuff. I use a card scraper a lot. I've never used a card scraper so much. Um, the, the rule just as a ruler, my block plane, I used an incredible amount for trimming up. It's a low angle block plane used for trimming, um, Dunlap, uh, brace for, um, drilling the hole, uh, panel gauge for making the edges parallel, um, hammer for adjusting the block plane, my two, um, big distance saws for cross cut and rip, um, Breaking down the lumber, I put a ton of grooves. <laughs> so I used the Stanley 46 here for um, cutting the dados, um, all the grooves, and um, yeah, for the glass and the rubber. Um, so I used that quite a bit. Um, pencils just for rough cut, um, rough cut only. Um, I used this for shaping the airfoil wing. Oh. And also my draw knife. I use this quite a bit for my my uh, airfoil roof there. Um, this is a dovetail saw for dovetails. <laughs> um, I use this for, this is a router plane um, for making two surfaces parallel. Use that quite a bit for cleaning out the dados, um, my tracks, um, of course, cutting the space for this. And this, in fact, I think I only use that to make these two notches, along with the crosscut saw. Um, and dollars for dollar, pound for pound, this is the best thing I own. 
exceptional quality, produces fine results. Made in Maine, um, Lee Nelson 5.5. I really like the 5.5. Rob Cobson was right. Um, so those are all my American tools. From here over is all American. Okay? So made in the Czech Republic by Narex are my chisels. Love them and the marking gauge. It's a, a, a right handed. Made in England, this bunch. My dovetail marking. Um, oh, and of course, I use the marking gauge for markings <laughs> and the chisels for, yeah, all kinds of stuff. My rabbit plane I used for making the shiplap back there. Uh, sta or, uh, record 78. Um, yeah, so that's England. This is Canada. My winding sticks and crosscut saw. I use... I don't see why people get any bigger than a carcass saw. It handles anything I need. And in the back corner, I have my Chinese tools. These... This might actually be made somewhere else, but I'm not sure, so I'll put it in the China pile. Um, just my dovetail marking gauge sharpening and um, panel or no not panel just regular marking gauge so, yeah marking gauge okay so we have China Canada England Czech Republic and America of course my clamps I have Dubuque clamps made in Iowa just 24 inch for for gloops um, all these are American. This one's Harbor Freight. Uh, China, 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 China. And my F-Style clamps, 24 inch, are China, and this is China. So, yeah. That is all my tools. Okay, and I might have even explained what they all do, but we'll see when I, uh, when I review this video. But anyway, I just wanted to show this off and thank my coworker a ton for giving me the materials money to build this thing. It just makes me so happy. So, yeah. I'm actually really proud of it. Love it. All right. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good day.